Hello and salut everybody. Welcome back to the channel, Chatting with Nicole. We are just chatting here. We are just chatting here and just sharing some few videos today. That's all we're doing today. We're just sharing some mind-blowing videos, you know, that can help us think twice, that can help us think about our decisions. So before I share the third video with you today, I want to welcome you back to the channel. If you have not subscribed, do me a favor and do just that. Share this video, like, and also check out the rest of the videos. And if you're new to the family, I welcome you. I thank you. I am grateful for you. This next video, we were talking about you know how many people actually enters you know day to day how many people comes to um to the united states you know legally you know not even thinking about illegally and we are also discussing title 42. title 42 is the title that was signed for covid 19 when covid 19 started you can look it up and and, and get more details but it was set in place because of covid 42 is about to be lifted so we were wondering, you know, we were talking about how many people are getting, especially from where. And this morning, I saw this video and I thought that was interesting. And I wanted to share this with you so that you know what is going on. If you are wondering, if you're one of the people who are like sitting down, you know, with your friends and talking about immigration, talking about how many people come to the country, how many people where the most people come from, even though we, we know we can tell because we see immigration, the laws and everything that is going on, the bad, the ugly, you know, the, 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 the good, the in between. If you're one of the people wondering what is going on, like I said, if you're wondering, here is what is happening. Talk about mostly in, in your African countries. So today, when we were looking at this, I'm like, um, looking at this, sometimes I wish Africa was closer. I wish that some of the African countries were closer. Imagine how many people are going to be entering this week alone to expire. Check it out. Let me know of your thoughts. Stay safe and blessed, and I'll see you next time you see me. Turning out the latest at the southern border and the shocking images coming out overnight. You can see there are hundreds of migrants lining up to be processed by U.S. Customs and Border Patrol. The caravan crossing the Rio Grande from Mexico into Texas and the surge coming just days before Title 42 comes to an end. NBC Squad Venegas explains it all. A massive border crossing in Texas overnight. As hundreds of migrants trekked across the Rio Grande to reach the United States. Fires burning to keep them warm in cold temperatures. <laughs> Men, women, children, and entire families lining up at the U.S. border after crossing illegally from Mexico. Mexican authorities say an estimated 1,200 migrants crossed into El Paso, Texas, turning themselves into the custody of U.S. border officials. <laughs> In Juarez, Mexico, county officials say the majority are part of a caravan that arrived days ago and was allowed to cross into the United States to request asylum. El 80% eran de Nicaragua. El otro 20% estaba muy muy este muy nutrido, estaba Honduras, Guatemala, Salvador, Perú, Venezuela también, Panamá, había Cuba, había algunas personas de Haití. The U.S. Border Patrol sector chief says it's part of a new surge in crossings seen over the weekend, adding, quote, a three-day average of 2,460 daily encounters, primarily through the downtown area of El Paso. By daybreak, U.S. border authorities were still loading hundreds of migrants on buses headed to nearby processing centers. The new surge comes after a record-breaking 2.7 million encounters were recorded across the southern border during the last year. And just days before the end of the Title 42 policy, the public health order that makes it easier for border officials to deny asylum and return migrants to Mexico. 
at the scene for you. You're right. This is the Rio Grande right here, but you can wade over it. That's what migrants have been doing basically all day. And right now, yes, technically they are on U.S. soil right over there. You see the border fence. Downtown El Paso is on the other side of that border fence. And Tom, these are hundreds of migrants, many of them Nicaraguan, a lot of men, but also women and children. And they are getting ready to spend yet another night here in pretty cold temperatures. Right now it's in the 40s here in Juarez, but it's expected to get even lower into the 30s. We just saw some migrants over there to wait in these cold temperatures, Tom. So, Gabe, I'm curious, you know, we're about to talk to a mayor uh, of on U.S. soil. Yeah, that's right, Tom. Let me set the scene for you. You're right. This is the Rio Grande right here, but you can wade over it. That's what migrants have been doing basically all day. And right now, yes, technically they are on U.S. soil right over there. You see the border fence. Downtown El Paso is on the other side of that border fence. And Tom, these are hundreds of migrants, many of them Nicaraguan, a lot of men, but also women and children. And they are getting ready to spend yet another night here in pretty cold temperatures. Right now it's in the 40s here in Guadalajara is, but it's expected to get even lower into the 30s. We just saw some migrants over there getting blankets from people here on this side of the border. So again, these are migrants, migrants right now that are on U.S. soil. They're expecting to turn themselves into the Border Patrol, but right now they're having to wait in these cold temperatures.